We all have two voices in our mind. We have that one voice, that voice that we love to hear, that tells you to stay in bed, to take it easy, telling you not to push yourself too hard, to take the day off, just chill today. But there's another voice in your head. It's a voice that we all want to run away from. And it's asking you a question. It's asking you, what could you become? What could you become if you worked as hard as you could? What could you become if you disciplined your mind? What could you become if you stopped taking the easy path? What could you become if you decided to force yourself to do more than ever before? You must listen to that voice. Listen to those questions it's asking. That voice is the beast inside you trying to make its way out. When you want something, don't expect the world to just hand it to you. Life's not going to give you shit for free. There's no handouts. No one's coming to say, oh, you want this? Great. We want to give this to you. No, no. Life isn't like that. But guess what? That's how most people see success. They think of it as if you just do a few things and you instantly become a winner. They stick to a diet for three days and wonder why they're not a fitness model yet. They do a few tasks they gotta do, have two meetings, send five emails, call 10 people, then have the audacity to say, why am I not running a $10 million company by now? And it's because they don't get what it really takes. It takes doing the things that most people aren't disciplined enough to do, day after day after day after day, to the best of your ability, doing it better than everybody else. Striving for perfection every single time. It's getting your ass up and working when you don't wanna work. It's lifting the weights when all you want to do is lay on the couch. It's focusing on studying when you'd rather be out partying with your friends. And you might hate doing it. It might be the last thing in the world you want to be doing right now. But you've got to do it like you love it. Because that is what discipline is. Don't allow your feelings to take control of your life. You're the one in charge. At some point, you got to get f***ing tired of losing. And you gotta f***ing play angry. You gotta get to the point where you can't relate to lazy people. You don't speak the same language. You gotta execute. You gotta get it done. Cause the world treats you different when you get it done. You gotta start commanding your mind to do the things that it's gonna take to win. No matter how it feels. Rewards come after you work, not before. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Stop spending time looking for excuses. Look for solutions. That's what winners do. Losers are always looking for the excuse where the winner looks for the solution. You gotta look yourself in the face and ask yourself, am I working hard enough? Am I studying hard enough? Am I doing all that I can do? Am I giving it my all? Am I burning the midnight oil every night? Am I pushing myself to my limits? And don't lie to yourself. Be honest. And if the answer is no, you've gotta step up your game and condition yourself to do better. Because all of us can go a little harder. Work a little longer. Try a little more. If we decide to, it's your mind that holds you back. You take control of your mind, you can take control of your world. Stop choosing the easy path, the path of comfort and convenience. All it's gonna lead you to is a life of shit quality, shit circumstances, and a shit lifestyle. Choose the hard path, the path of discipline, the path of hard work, the path of consistency, the path of blood, sweat, and tears, the path of giving the full measure, the path of going the extra mile. That path will lead you to your dreams, to your goals, to everything you've ever wanted, and ultimately, to victory. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, they ain't happening. You got to get real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. If you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're going to have to do extra. You put extra on top of ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. But here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. 
When you say f you, uh uh, this sucks. I'm drowning. I'm miserable. I'm suffering. I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind? It says f he's not leaving. So we got to expand.